Nana do ye woda
se mojan en kwaji en kwaji wo en kwaji wo en kwaji wo ti se se mojan mo Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I, be, I believe you are blessed to be in the house of God today. David said, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. We would like to begin today's service in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. We want to thank the United Praise for a wonderful song ministration. We would like to start with Amazing Grace Hymn.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many of us believe that God is good? How many of us believe that God is good? I give glory to that. Please, we may have our seats. Hallelujah. Today, our theme for this evening is Lord or heal our land, O Lord. Tonight is a prayer meeting. And like every prayer meeting, we will stir up our waters to pray. We will stir up our spirits to pray, regardless of our numbers. Because in the book, in Second Kings, it took only four lepers to bring into fruition the word of the prophet. It didn't take the whole nation of Israel. It didn't take all the mighty men of Israel. But it took four outcasts, four lepers who were not considered by the multitude to bring into fruition the word that the prophet of God has spoken that tomorrow by this time there will be food and plenty in the land and it took four lepers that said that we will go if we perish we perish like Esther she said for I'm in the palace for a time such as this so tonight if you are here you are here for a time such as this if you are joining us on our social media platforms you have joined us for a time such as this for us to lift up prayer to God that he will hear us and he will heal our land. You see, there is nothing that God cannot do. God is able to use one to defeat many. God is able to use the foolish to confound the wise. God is able to use the weak to confound the strong. So there is nothing our God cannot do. For what God cannot do does not exist. And for what is impossible with men, is always possible with God. For I always know that for if there is a man to pray, there is a God certainly to listen. And that God is our God. For when our prayers go up, our God is faithful and just to reward our faith and trust in him with answered prayers. But we should also know that sometimes these answered prayers may not go how we phantom them to go. But we should know that he is a prayer answering God. And so before we have our opening prayer, I just want to read one portion of scripture that has been with me throughout the day. In Hebrews chapter 12, verses 22 to 24. And I read, But you have come to the mount of Zion and to the city of the living God. It means tonight our gathering, we have come to the mount of the Lord. If you read the four scriptures, it talks about the mountain of fear, where people fear to even touch the mountain of the Lord, for even if an animal touched the mountain of the Lord, it will be killed and brought down. But because of Jesus Christ, the, the burden and the one who has died to save us, he says that, but you have come to the Mount Zion, into the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem, and to the innumerable company of angels, to the general assembly and the church of the firstborn who are registered in heaven, to God, the judge of all, to the spirits of the just men made perfect, and to Jesus, the mediator of a new covenant, and to the blood of sprinkling that speaks a better thing than the blood of Abel. Tonight, we have not gathered in the midst of empty chairs but we have gathered in the midst of innumerable hosts of angels and the spirits of men made perfect to join us tonight to lift up prayer to God. Tonight, we have come to our mountain of joy. Tonight, we have come to our mountain of prayer. Tonight, we have come to our mountain of deliverance. And tonight, we have come to our mountain of breakthroughs. Amen. Eternal Father, we want to give you the glory today. We want to give you the honor we submit every praise that we have received and join the 24 elders and place them at your feet as they place their crowns. And we say, holy, holy is you, O God. Worthy are you of every praise. We say from the rising of the sun to the setting of the same, only you are worthy of praise. We say the earth is full of your praise. The, the waters beneath are full of your praise. So we lift it up to you tonight and we commit our gathering here tonight into your hand. For you are the Lord of the gathering. So we pray that in our midst today, may you dwell powerfully and mightily. That in your presence, that you dwell with us, our tongues will be loose unto prayer. That everything we lift up in prayer tonight, 
as she said unto Daniel, that before he even prayed, you had delivered. That that will be our portion tonight. That before we even lifted up prayers unto you, you would have delivered. Father, we commit everyone coming or everyone joining us. That you give them traveling mercies. Those on social platforms, we pray that your word will reach them. For you said your word is sharper than any two-edged sword. So may it permeate every media and may it reach out unto them. That in everything, glory and honor will be given unto your holy name. We thank you, Father, and we bless you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. At this juncture, we'll ask the United Praises to give us some songs of praise and worship. The Bible says that we should enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise as we prepare ourselves to enter into a time of prayer. Amen. Ben Minchen Badafu Sana Yesuti Oh, yeah, my dad, for pa. I see in a remo. Oh, yeah, me boot and see, yeah, me, me, chem, yeah, me, guan, go, yeah. Oh, Ben, me, chen, my dad, for sa, na, yeah, Oh, Ben, me, chen, oh, Ben, me, chen, my dad, for sa, na, yeah, Oh, yeah, my dad, for pa. Oh, yeah, madan for pa. I see in a remo. I see in a remo. Oh, yeah, me boot and see me. Yeah, me, me, chum, ye, me, guan, go, ya. Ben, me, chan, madan for sa. Na, ye, su. Oh, yeah, me boot and see. Oh, yeah, me boot and see me. Yeah, me, me, chum, ye, me, guan, go, ya. Oh, when me chant my dad for sa na ye esu. Oh, grandma walk me no. Of as I say, oh jia ye yam ye grandma, yam ye grandma, ye grandma ye beji wudi. Oh, grandma walk me no. Oh, grandma walk me no. Of as I say, oh jia ye yam ye grandma, yam ye grandma. Gamba, ye be ye woody, ye be ye woody, no, ye be ye woody, naye, where do you cool him? Ye be ye woody, no, ye be ye woody, naye, where do you cool him? Oh, Gamba, what cool me, no, Gamba, what cool me, no, over the sun, or jia, ye, ye, yam, ye, Gamba, yam, ye, Gamba, ye, Gamba. Ye be ye woody, oh grandma wo kumu no, grandma wo kumu no. Oh, abata se oji a ye ye yami grandma, yami grandma. Ye woody, ah ye ye, ashe ma kumu mama, na mi di mi ma o yami. Ah ye ye, ashe ma kumu mama, na mi di mi ma o yami. Missini a waye e ye me wa wa do do e boro wa jini mi si a si so a ye ye a she ma kuma ma na mi di mi ma o ya me missini a waye e ye me wa wa do do e boro wa jini mi si a si so a ye ye a she ma kuma ma na mi di mi ma o ya me. Oh yeah, oh yeah, me. Oh yo, to me for one when he. Oh yeah, no carry ya me. Oh, to me ne sa. Oh my kudi na remo. Na wa mata amfuso. Ah, oh kame onti misuro. Oh yeah, ya me to fu ya me. Unfo, ye yi wa ye, o ye ya mi tunfo, ya mi itu unfo, ye yi wa ye da da, ye wo ya mi, o yo tunfo wa weni, o ya no kari ya mi. Oh, what ne ne sa? Wamakuji na remo, 
We are here to pray. We are here to call on the name of the Lord. In Second Chronicles chapter 7, verses 14 to 16, he says, If the people who are called by my name will turn from their wicked ways, will humble themselves and pray. And I can assure you that what Lent does is that it humbles you as you fast. It gives you the opportunity to turn from your wicked ways, from the things that do not please God. And he says, and when we pray, in addition to these two, he, the Lord, will hear us and will heal our land and become attentive to every prayer, every praise, and every sacrifice that is made in this place. Our theme is that Lord, heal our land. And he says that for him to heal our land we must turn from our wicked ways we must humble ourselves and we must pray and I believe that throughout this Lenten period we have turned from our wicked ways we have humbled ourselves through fasting 
And tonight we are here to pray. Isaiah 62, 6 and 7, it says that he has placed men and women upon the walls of Jerusalem as watchmen of prayer that we should call upon the name of the Lord until he has established Jerusalem, a joy of the earth. He says that, and they that call on his name should give themselves no rest and give God no rest until he, the Lord, has established Jerusalem as a joy of the earth. And so tonight, you and I are here as watchmen and watchwomen of prayer. Understand, when we're taking the walls of Jericho, he made the whole of Israel go around and praise. But when it came to the establishment of Jerusalem as a joy of the earth, he said he has placed men and women upon its walls to lift up prayer and give him no rest. So tonight, we are going to fill the heavens with our cry of prayer. We are going to fill the atmosphere with our cry of prayer. Jesus said that the house of his father's house shall not be a den of thieves, but a house of prayer. In James 5, 16b, it says that the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous availeth much. And Bible says that by faith, Abraham was considered to be righteous. And so because we believe in God, it says that the effectual fervent prayer of we that believe in God will avail much tonight. Hallelujah. So we're going to pray on three main things tonight. We're going to pray that God should heal our families. Because the family is the bedrock of this land. The family is the bedrock of this church. And so if the foundation be destroyed, what shall the righteous do? If the foundation of Ghana is destroyed, what shall Ghana do? If families are destroyed, what will the church do? If families are destroyed, what will the nation do? And then we will pray for our church, that God should heal our church. And then finally, we will pray that God heal our land, heal our economy, heal our leaders, heal our decision makers, that they will not make any decision that is contrary to the will and the desire of God. Hallelujah. At this juncture, I want us to rise to our feet. And don't, don't think about anybody. Don't think about anyone standing next to you. You see, with the woman with the case of blood, if she was worried about the people that she was going to pass through, she would not have touched the hem of his garment. Because in her mind, she had purpose that if I could but just touch the hem of his garment, tonight, if you could but just lift up prayer to heaven, God is going to let that prayer precipitate and fall as rain and fall as answered prayers into our laps. For us to receive that which we are asking of him. So tonight, his word says that let us enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. What our God has done for us, no man can do. He paid the ultimate price of death on a riggedy rugged cross to become cursed. That we will become blessed. Tonight I want us to open our mouths from the depths of our heart. And begin to thank him for who he is. He is the ancient of days. He is the I am that I am. He is the lily of the valley. The rose of Sharon. He is the lion of the tribe of Judah. He is the one that before him none exists. After him none will exist. He is the ancient of days. He is the alpha and the omega. The beginning and the end. He is the one that rolls out the heavens like a carpet. And the earth his footstool. He is the one that the 24 elders remove their crowns. And place it at his feet and give him glory. This is the God that we have come to serve. He is the God that in praise he is mighty in battle. That the gates open because this is our God. So let's give him the praise. Let's give him the honor. Let's give him the glory. Because none is deserving like the God that we serve. He is a great God. You are a great God, Yahweh. We magnify your name tonight. We lift your name above every name. 
we enthrone you on the crest of our praise tonight uh, for we say father there is none worthy of praise like you are uh, there is none that can keep us and watch over us like you have done uh, for it says that you that watch over us uh, you slumbered not and you sleep at not uh, uh, we give you the glory for you have done what no man can do uh, you have done what no man will do for us again uh, we give you glory lord we give you glory uh, we magnify your name among the living today uh, we say be thou worshipped uh, be thou exalted uh, we say oh lily of the valley we give you the praise tonight uh, for in your splendor none can be clothed like you are uh, father tonight your children have come before your throne and we give you glory we give you praise we lift your name above every name for we search all over we search in the heavens and found none we search on the earth and found none capable and we said we need the waters and we found none worthy of praise like you so we give you glory king of kings lord of lords we magnify your name we exalt you and we extol you uh, as the edebe kapan didibiosa the righteous one of heaven uh, the bright and morning star the dew as the coast be idiham didibiosa radoski pahan didibihasutia we magnify you O king of kings and lord of lords uh, daddy tonight we give you the praise we give you the glory we give you the honor because none is worthy like you. We say you are onyami tunfu. Ah, washa yen sodan. Onyami tunfu. Washa yen sodan. Watavan kesi. No boy Oh, but I'm here. Oh, from here, come home. And then it ended. Oh, now me too full. Now me too Let that be your song to him tonight. That he's a mighty God that keepeth over us. That his mighty wings. He encompasses us with it. Ah, Zedebe Halaban, Nadaraba Hoshadaha. Oh, Batampa, the big breasted one. Ah, he embraces us to himself. And he provides everything that we need. Three, six, five days. Let's take, let's take it one more time. Let's let him know that we... Oh, Jehovah is your name. We know you by name. Jehovah. We know you by name because you are our God. Jehovah is your name. Yes, it is. Jehovah. Mighty warrior, mighty warrior, great in battle, Jehovah is your name. Yes, it is. Mighty warrior, great in battle, Jehovah. 
That is your name. Jehovah, Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name. My two warriors. We want to just move into that atmosphere of prayer as we are standing in front of him because when we enter into that place of secrecy with him there is nothing we need to hide from God and we can only come in confidence when we come through the blood of Jesus tonight we want to pray that the blood will cover us the blood will wash us from the crown of our head to the soles of our feet the blood will give us confidence to stand before God unashamed, unafraid, knowing that the blood has spoken because Jesus is the mediator of a new covenant. That through the blood, that's speaking a better thing than the blood of Abel. So tonight, we want to enter into the presence, the very presence of God, through the very blood that was shed on Calvary for us. Let's begin to plead the blood tonight, the blood that was shed, the blood that was shed for the sins of men that knew him not, that while we were yet sinners, Christ. Christ came and died for us while we knew him not. The blood that spoke on Calvary, that Father forgive them. Uh, for they did not know their sins, uh, but Father forgive them today. Uh, let's go through the blood tonight, uh, the blood of Jesus. Uh, that we seal this place in the blood of Jesus. The blood that speaks, the blood that atones uh, for our sins uh, and makes us worthy uh, of the very presence of God. Uh, Father, tonight we come in the blood. In the matchless blood of Jesus, in the immutable blood, the blood that speaks a better thing, the blood that speaks that no man can shut up. For the tonight, we plead the blood over us today that as we enter into this atmosphere and into this place of prayer, we will be surrounded from the crown of our head to the soles of our feet with the blood of Jesus, the blood that speaks. Father, the blood tonight I will speak for us. Libran did it be hosted a baha. A fellow was zoo telebeca prandia. What did he be capendi filimi hosted a baha? A stella lebecosi ipandi ribi hosha. The blood of Jesus will speak tonight. Libran did it be hosted a baha. Liquan did it be zing did it be hosha. We thank you in the mighty name of Jesus. Ah. We want to lift our first prayer topic before God. Tonight we are praying for our families. We are saying that Lord heal our families. Because the family is the foundation of the land. And the, the family is the foundation of the church. And we understand that if the foundation be destroyed, uh, what will the righteous do? They that build upon the foundation cannot build. Uh, the nation cannot be built and the church cannot be built. Uh, so we are praying tonight that Father heal our family issues. Uh, any issue that is stringing up in your family. Uh, Bible, Bible says that and God said to Jeremiah, I have given you authority to break, to pull down and to destroy. Uh, and I have given you authority to build, to plant and to establish. I don't know what is going on in your family but whatever issue that exists in your family tonight we are bringing it before the altar of prayer that father heal my family father heal my family that whatever issue it is in my family if it is that we do not have children in my family father heal this issue in my family if it is that our fa my family we do not live past a certain age father heal my family 
Father, heal my family now in the name of Jesus. Father, I present my family before you. I look into my mother's side and my father's side. Father, anything that is an inhibitor in my family, you gave authority like you gave to Jeremiah to pull down and to break. So, Father, tonight, any altar that is not an altar of you, I pull down and I break. Anything that inhibits my family from loving and serving you, I pull down and I dethrone. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lebron did it be Cosia, Wadan did it be Ibon did it be Hosa. Any family illnesses. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that you heal my family. You said you are bruised for our healing. So, Father, tonight, in the name of Jesus, I present my family before you. That anything from the back to the front, in the midst of my family, that does not allow me free entrance to you. Father, tonight, I part ways with it. Heal my family, Father, in the name of Jesus. Any known sickness, any unknown sicknesses, uh, any known covenants or unknown covenants, uh, Father, tonight we break loose of every chain that holds us from our family. Uh, Father, in the name of Jesus. Ah, oh, we thank you, Father. Bre Olobo Zik Pandi Ribi Hosa. In Tolobo Zik Kandi Ribi Hesante. Heal our families, O Father. Rapali Bika Pali O Shadaha. Li Prandi Ribi Osia. If it is a family that don't have children, Father, heal their family. Li Prandi Ribi Osha. Give them the gift of the womb, the fruit of the womb. Li Tolobo Zik Panda. Rapali Bika Pandi. Ah, Lord, heal our families of poverty. Li Kondi. Heal our families of backward movements in the name of Jesus. Heal our family of closed doors and closed gates. Heal our family of unfruitfulness and unproductivity. Father, in the name of Jesus. Libra Kodoski Ipa. We call our families healed now in the name of Jesus. We declare our families healed by the blood of Jesus. Azi Kolobazi Anta. Rabalobazi Ikozi Ipranda. We said you are bruised for our transgression, and because of that, we are healed. So, Father, we declare your healing over our family. Yo Zin Talabadi Hande. Likolobazin Branda and in Kolobazi. Felemeta Brava Loski Ipranda. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying for the spirit of unity in our families. Sometimes what allows the enemy to have chance in our family is the disunity that exists. In Psalm 133, he said, How pleasing and pleasant it is for brethren to dwell in unity. For it is like oil upon the head of Aaron, running through his beard onto the skirts of his garment. It is like dew upon Mount Hermon, sustaining the dew thereof. It means unity brings the unction of God upon a family. And that same unity sustains a family. So we are praying for the spirit of unity in our family that as God heals our family may he birth in us the spirit of unity that we will not look for our own good but we will look for the collective good of our family uh, Father in the name of Jesus uh, we pray according to scripture that how pleasing and pleasant it is for brethren to dwell in unity we pray that may the spirit of unity bind our family Father I commit my family to you uh, that Father may the spirit of unity dwell in my family may that unity be like oil upon us that will sustain us and cause us to function 
Philippi as one Talibi Ibran. May it also be like the dew that sustained the grass on Hermon and sustain my family. Oh, ZDB Capranda. May it sustain my family that no one would die premature. ZDB Caprandi. May it sustain my family. No opportunity will pass my family by. Retolobos Gianda. May it sustain and give way for my family that no doors will be shut. Retelebe Capaz. Watelelebevoa. Intolobos. Zikampalia, Wadendelebe Paliosa, Ikalabatapa, Yedelebe Kondi Libiosa, Wadidibi Kapondi Libiosia, Wedelebe Vahoya, Mahandi Libi Hasia, Linkalababaha, Felelebe Kospiha, Yentelebe Ifinimiha, Pazwanta Labapaha, Yedelebe Kabohosia, Wandi Libi Kapali Bihaya, Yelebe de Kospia, Ratanta Lebe Kapelevehoa, Yelamadio. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying also to heal broken families and broken homes. Our families are getting broken easily. When you look at it statistically, it is Christian marriages that are cause are having the most divorces. We are praying against any broken homes and broken marriages. Because when, when you listen to the vows, he said that let no man put asunder what God has put together. So we are praying that once it is God that instituted marriage and put the family together, we are praying against any spirit that breaks marriages. We are praying against any spirit that breaks homes and breaks families. Father, in the name of Jesus, any spirit breaking of marriages, we lift every marriage and every family before you. We pray in the name of Jesus that Pezin Telemekazwa, Likadaba Hebrandi Dibihoa, that Father, we come against that spirit that breaks marriages. We come against every spirit that breaks weddings or breaks homes. For you said, though the enemy will come like a flood, the Lord will lift up a standard and cause him to flee in seven different ways. You said, the path of the enemy will be made dark and slippery. Father, in the name of Jesus, that spirit that comes into homes uh, that causes homes to be broken uh, when they come to our homes uh, Father tonight in the name of Jesus uh, we run into you for you are our shelter and our strong place uh, lift up a standard and cause that spirit to flee uh, in seven different ways lifting to lobozipa we leave us on we pray that the path to our homes uh, will be slippery and dark uh, that that spirit will not locate us Living Talabazia, what did he be friend? The Lebeca Prandia, Rosin Talabaziba, Rosette Lebeca Paliosa, Ninkolo Lobozi, what done did he be brandy? Tobroski Ipa, Rebele Becoposi Pinihata, one Palibi Prandi Libi Hosia, Lekadaba Ibrandi Libi Hosata, Red de Lebecandi Libi Ibra, Red de Lebevucusia, Pa Andi Libi Hosha. In Jesus' mighty name, Father, we pray again uh, that you will shout every family with the fire of your Holy Spirit uh, that the enemy will not have access to any marriage, uh, to any family to cause brokenness. Uh, Father, we pray for the ones that are breaking. Uh, there is nothing too hard for you. Uh, uh, that which is broken, you can mend and use for good. Uh, we pray for the marriages that are on the verge of breaking, uh, that Father sustain them. Uh, uh, you said a three cost strand does not break. Be that third person in that marriage uh, be the third person in that family uh, hold them together against the storms of life uh, it with your anchor hold in the storms of life uh, uh, lord you are the anchor that holds the family together you are the anchor that holds that marriage together hold them strong against the storms of this day uh, in jesus mighty name you see a lot of people are not getting married these days because of the fear of broken homes and broken marriages. Some people will tell you that the way people are marrying beautifully 
and six months down the line they are breaking up they are saying irreconcilable differences it does not give them the courage or the joy to even want to be in that situation but we understand that we have not received the spirit of fear and of timidity but of sound mind of courage and of love so tonight we are praying that because of this thing this spirit that breaks homes and marriages people are not getting into the institution of marriage so today we even see lgbtq lifting up a banner that men and women women and women men and men can even do something for themselves but we are praying in the name of jesus that that spirit of fear will go back to whence it came from uh, from the pits that it came from uh, it will go back uh, the love peace sound mind and joy uh, will reign in our hearts that we can even have the courage to go and do that which god has ordained us to do uh, father in the name of jesus tonight uh, we speak against the spirit of fear for marriage uh, because of broken homes and broken relationships uh, father we speak tonight and declare that may that spirit go back to whence it came from uh, to the very place it came from and uh, we go back we send them back and shut them there redeem didi behold uh, for your word says we have received the spirit of sound mind and of courage and not of fear that father by sound mind of courage and of love uh, we will move into godly relationships we will move into godly marriages uh, we will move into christ-centered families uh, for the glory of the kingdom for the expansion of the kingdom uh, in Jesus' mighty name have we prayed. Amen. Amen. Do not, get, do not get weary in doing good. For in due time, that which you sow, you will reap multiplied by God. Hallelujah. We are now praying for our church. We are saying, Lord, heal our church. We don't want to our church. Paul, Paul said to the church that I have not come to you with the eloquence of speech, but of the spirit and of power. We don't want our church to be an eloquent church where we speak good English, but it is not backed by the power and the spirit of God. And so tonight we are praying that God will heal our church. In 1 Corinthians 12 and 14, where it talks about the gifts of the spirit, Paul says in 12 verses 1 that concerning spiritual gifts, I do not want you to be ignorant because it is very important for the church to abound in spiritual giftings. It is also important that the church will bear fruits of the spirit. For in Galatians 5, 22 to 26, it says, for the fruits of the spirit is love, forbearing of one another, the keeping of others, the lifting up of others. It speaks about the forbearing and he says that by their fruits you shall know them tonight we are praying that as god heals our church may we abound in spiritual things and love we are praying that may we abound in spiritual giftings and love we are praying that may this church and the church universal abound and overflow in spiritual things and love for the tonight we come in the book that is spoken of us in the volume of the bible that is spoken of us he said you will build your church and the gates of hell shall not prevail so father tonight we pray and lift your church before you that father may your church abound in spiritual things but paul said in first corinthians 12 and 1 that concerning spiritual gift we become not ignorant of these so father tonight we lift up your church and present it blameless before you that father may the church abound in spiritual gifting uh, for as Paul said to the church I come not in eloquence or speech but of, of the spirit uh, you know, by power but father that will be our portion in your church uh, that not by eloquence or speech uh, but by your spirit and by power
Rentelelebe fikozi ipandi lili bioa. Reteleba ipozi ipandi lili biki kanda. Zuntandi lili oshanda la baba. Retelelebe vusi antala baba. Father, let love, uh, let love grow in this church. Uh, let love grow in your church. Livosi a paha zukili bita brosia. Itolo lobo zi anta inconia. Rebendi dibi osia. May the church abound in love. May the church abound in spiritual things. Likondi dibi osia. May our delight be in spiritual things. Ritoski ibandia. He says, For God so loved the world that he gave. May our love be a given love. May we be full of love that we will give ourselves back to you. Back to the body. Zukanta faboa. Ritolobo zifa. Pazunta ikondi. Wadili bito brosia, wabanta pandili o shadabaha, lifili bika pa, wazelelele behoa, piontandi di bikusia, pa anta taba osia. In Jesus' mighty name. Our next one is that we are praying that we are bound in the gifts of the Holy Spirit. And I want to read this quickly. In 1 Corinthians 12, it says that. Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I do not want you to be ignorant. You know that you were Gentiles carried away to these dumb idols, however you were led. Therefore, I'm, I make known to you that no one speaking by the Spirit of God calls Jesus accursed. And no one can say that Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. There are, there are diversities of gifts, but by the same Spirit. There are differences of ministries, but the same Lord. And there are diversities of activities, but it is the same God who works in all. But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to each one for the profit of all. For, for to one is given the word of wisdom through the Spirit. To another, the word of knowledge through the same Spirit. To another, faith by the same Spirit. To another, the gift of healing by the same Spirit. To another, the working of miracles. To another, prophecy. To another, descending of spirits. To another, different kinds of tongues. To another, the interpretation of tongues. But the one and the same Spirit that works in all these things, distributing to each one individually as he wills. We want to provoke the Holy Spirit to will us the gifts that he claim, he holds. The gift of wisdom. The gift of knowledge. The understanding and interpretation of tongues. The gift of different kinds of tongues. The gift of healing. The gift of miracles in the church. That is the way that the church will be full of him. That is the way that the church will be a sign and a wonder. That is the way that the church will be the salt of the earth and the light unto men. Let's begin to pray that these giftings that have been listed out in scripture will become alive and well in our church tonight. Father, in the name of Jesus, Zedowski Ibranta, your word says that these are the giftings as your spirit wills. Tonight, Holy Spirit, we come before the throne of God. In this time of prayer, Zukandi Dibihoa, we say that give unto to us the spirit li kandi di bihosa pazwanta la baba retene mi kospa andi di bihosa li kandi di bihosa pandi di bihosa we pray that the word of wisdom uh, through you is given to your body oh god retele le le be kapandi di bihosa that the word of knowledge as the tongues ki ipanda li fa pazwandi di bihosa retele le le be kapandi di bihosa the gift of prophecy the gift of descending of spirit uh, the gift of different kinds of tongues uh, the gift of of understanding and interpreting tongues uh, Zukondi di di oh, uh, the gift of healings and miracles uh, Li Branta Riosa Li Fampa Indolobohosia Rakada Baha Zukundi Ibrandi Libiosa Li Fampa Ikondi Ibrandi Ibrosia Li Kalaba Ibrandi uh, may we overflow in these things may we abound in these giftings uh, Li Kandi Libiosa Padundi Ibrandi uh, Li Delelelebe Kapuria Taboski Ipan Libranta de Oscar, Pelele Betoa, Itolo Lobo Vicondia, Paduandi Libica Palioa, Itanta Taliosa, Petili Libica Pa, Wandi Liosa Tabaha, in the mighty name.
name of Jesus. Ikolo lo lo bozi, finto lo lo boki prandi ata andi ibrosi ipa. Rikolo lo bo usi ata andi ribi hosha dabaha. We thank you in Jesus' mighty name. We are praying that the church will abound in greater works for the kingdom. You see, when we say the Lord's Prayer, it's about the expansion of the kingdom of God, that as it is in heaven, may it be on earth. And I understand from scripture that God did not, or Jesus did not build his church, or he did not leave a crippled church. Because he made the church triumphant. He made the church victorious. And if you want to understand it, it took two fishermen to go before the Sanhedrin and for them to say that these do not look like men of scholarships or men of good repute but when they spoke they knew that these men though of low repute had spoken wisdom and great things because they had been with a great someone Ah, so it means that God left a church that was flowing and abounding in power a church for greater works and signs because you cannot be a salt for the earth and a light to the world if you do not have great works in you so tonight we are praying that may the church after receiving giftings uh, become a great work and a sign and a wonder to the world. Uh, we are praying that may the church abound in great gifts and great works uh, for the kingdom to expand through the church. Uh, let's begin to pray that the church will abound uh, in great works for the expansion of the kingdom of God. Uh, Litini mi konzi in tandia, lito lobo zi brande ya pa uli mi ipande. Lifampa ukundi ibrande ya te endele beka pa. Wondi libi ibrande ibrande ya. Litele lele bekosi ya pa andi ima ande ya. Lento lobo zi imanda laba skutende ikoa. Ika pa ilianda topandi ipanda. Litele lele bekosi ya pra andi libi ande. Father we pray that may we abound in great works. In great works of love and of your giftings. Lidin di kogosi ya. Ipondi iprondia, Toloski ipondi ibondia, Likalaba topondi ifondia, Libi ondi imanda lababoa, Re telelebe kozian dan 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 dolova hosia, Ipambo dionda ipondi, Tevelebe kapuria, Likondi ibrande, Lidi anda lababa, Skidios kapandi, Li on tandi ibrande, that we abound in these things for the expansion. Of the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. And finally concerning our church. We are praying that may we abound in the fruits of the spirit. He says Bible says that by their fruits. You shall know them. We don't want to be known. As it describes in the book of Revelation. The types of churches. He said you are good. But. You have done this. But. We want when God calls our church. He will say. But the fruits of the Spirit in this church is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. For against such, there is no law. And those who are Christ have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. If we live in the Spirit, let us walk in the Spirit. Let us not become conceited, provoking one another, envying one another. So we are praying that may the church abound in love. May the church abound in joy. May the church abound in peace. May the church abound in long suffering. May the church abound in kindness. May the church abound in faithfulness. May the church abound in gentleness. May the church abound in self-control. For, for, for such, there is no law against. Father, may we abound in the fruits of your spirit. May we abound, O oh Holy Spirit, in your fruits. Bear fruits in your church, O oh Holy Spirit. May your church be known for love. May your church be known for joy. May your church be known for peace. May your church be known for long suffering. May your church be known for kindness. May your church be known for goodness. May your church be known for faithfulness. May your church be known for gentleness. And may your church be known for self-control. 
in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And finally, we are praying for the land that we dwell in. And when we, when we read in Ephesians, where he says that we put on the full armor of God, in the end he says, and when you pray, lift up prayers for those who are in authority. Because they might go in as good men and good women, but being in the place of authority takes a lot. But we pray that like men like Daniel, men like Joseph, will enter into the atmosphere of leadership. That the spirit of Daniel, the spirit of Joseph, will be imprinted in our leaders. That they will have the heart, the mind for Christ. That any decision that they will make will be to glorify the kingdom of God. Is that if the righteous rule, the land prosperous. So tonight we want to lift the leadership of Ghana in the capable and able hands of God. We want to say, Father, your word says the heart of the king is in the hand of the Lord. It is like a water course and you direct its path anywhere and anyhow you seek. We are praying that God will take the hearts of leadership. He should give them no rest until they have established God supreme in the land Ghana. That they will make no decision to please men but to please God alone. Let's begin to lift the leadership of the land of Ghana into the able hands of God. Anyone you know, you can use him as a point of contact for all manner of leadership. Uh, leadership from the presidency, leadership to our various offices, uh, leadership to our workplaces, leadership to even our churches. We are bringing all manner of leadership uh, before God uh, and submitting them under the, under the sovereignty of God. Uh, Li kalaba ibrosi ipandolo lobohoa rekanda apandi ibrande roskiri bi ipalwanda tobondi ifande Father tonight we commit their minds into your able hands li kondi ibrosi rafanto upandi li kadaba apondi ibrahandi rezikele be kabosi pe elele be kabuzi refelele be ibandi ibrande li kalaba ipandi ikondi ribi Father, in the name of Jesus, we present all manner of leadership. We start with the president of the land and his subordinates. We come before you. Uh, we bring before you all leaders uh, uh, in our workplaces, in our churches, uh, in the various institutions in the land. Uh, Father, tonight, uh, speak to their hearts, uh, turn their minds, uh, skew it to you. Lift in the Iponia, lift up Azuta Abrahania, Recolobozi Brandi Ikandia, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And our last prayer topic for tonight. Is that we are presenting the economy of Ghana before God. I mean, we've joked about a few things. Like, just, I think, this week, I saw a meme that said, in Accra, the 100 CD note is equivalent to 10 CDs. The moment you buy something, one, it is finished. So we can equate the 100 Ghana CD notes, even though it is 100 CDs, to the 10 Ghana CD notes. It means that there is something wrong with the economy. And it did not start with our time. Bible says in 2 Kings that there was a time where there was drought. That even mothers could connive to, to, to cook their children and eat. One after the other. And when Bible says that, and they sought for the man of God to come and speak the mind of God. And Bible says, and when Elijah the prophet came, he said, tomorrow by this time there shall be an abortion of food. Uh, tomorrow by this time there shall be an abundance and a breakthrough in the economy. Tomorrow by this time there shall be a change in the story. Uh, it took the voice of a man of God uh, and tonight God said he has placed you and I uh, 
as watchmen over Jerusalem uh, to give him no rest and give ourselves no rest until he has established us the joy of the earth. Uh, tonight we are giving God no rest until he has turned our economy around. Uh, all it takes is a word from your mouth that uh, tomorrow by this time uh, our economy will turn around. Uh, tomorrow by this time the 100 Ghana City note will have value. Uh, tomorrow by this time 10 cities will sustain a family. Uh, tomorrow by this time we will have enough to take care of ourselves. Uh, begin to speak concerning the economy of Ghana. Begin to speak as the compound uh, Father, tomorrow by this time, uh, you will turn the story of our economy around. Ritondi ipanda, likadaba apandi didibiho shakatusi ipandi, lifini mita brosia ta elemeka, yodondi ibranda, torianta lababa, likandi ibrandi iba. It is impossible with men, but it is possible with you. Uh, for there is nothing you cannot do. Ricondi Ibrande at Elebecosia, Ritompa Alianda Lababa, Ricosia at Elefecundia, Lidondi Ibrande at Elemeta Bandi, One Dilibi Icondi Imandia, Lifinco Tosia, Pinto Rondia, Rifilimi Ipamboria, Paondi Icondi, Lisuta Abraia, Brandi Libica, Likenco Cosia, Ripanda Pa, Lidondi Ibrande, Ipanta Pa, Ridibi Caposia, Wandi Ibroa, Rifin Caposia, Li Incopo Odia, Ricada Bavi, Indoloboa, Ritoloboskia, Ipondi Via, Ritondi Iba. Dikondi Ibrea, Ritondi Ibra, Faandi Libio, Pazunka Paa, Redele Becosia, Pazwandia, Tabende Veloa, Lifan Pazwa, Pazinko Loa, Rika da Bavua, Zinko Lobosia. In Jesus' mighty name. Father, tonight as your church, we say tomorrow by this time, we shall hear a good report. For there is nothing too hard. If it is even one city that will sustain us for the remainder of the year, there is nothing too hard. If it is hundred cities that will do more than we could have imagined, there is nothing too hard for you. For you will sustain our economy and you will sustain us. We thank you, Yahweh. Tonight we want to be like that leper who left the multitude and went back to Jesus and said, thank you. We want to be like that one amongst the ten that went back to say thank you. Because our faith is that before we prayed, he knew our thoughts. He heard our prayers and he answered them. So we have come as men and women bearing answered prayers or bearing thank yous for our answered prayers. Only you know what you have prayed for. But for me, I am grateful for every answer that he has given me tonight. Let us open our mouth from the depths of our hearts and begin to thank God for hearing us. Begin to thank God for answering our prayers. Begin to thank him for doing what no man can do. For turning around your story because of the prayer you have said tonight. For turning around what men thought was impossible because only he can make the impossible possible. Begin to thank him because there is none like him. Begin to thank him that he, because he does what no man can do and he's unapologetic about it. Begin to thank him because concerning you, he's unapologetic about how he comes through for you. Uh, begin to thank him because concerning you, he does not care what men think he will come through for you. Uh, begin to thank him that when you open your mouth to pray, he was faithful and just to hear and to do. Yeah, I was Let's just wave our hands at him. Let's just sing that part. Let's not go too far. Just wave your hands at him. Just wave your hands at him. 
a sign of victory, a sign of appreciation, a sign of gratitude. Let the waving of your hand be your thank you unto him. Let the waving of your hand be your thank you unto him. Yes. Daddy, we are mindful tonight to give you the praise, to give you the glory, to give you the honor. For your word reminds us that you are a jealous God and you will share not your praise with any other. So Father, we give you no cause to be jealous because we know from the depth of our hearts that it is only you that is deserving of our praise. So tonight, Daddy, we come before you, we place it at your feet. We join the 24 elders and we say, Yahweh, be thou lifted up. On every praise we have won, on every praise we have received, Father, we give it back to you. For only you are deserving of the glory, the honor, and the praise. Father, tonight our prayer is one. That every prayer that has been lifted up tonight is sealed in the power of the Holy Spirit. For as you said in Ephesians 4.30, that you are sealed in the Holy Spirit until the day of accountability. So do we seal every prayer that has been lifted up tonight unto the day of fulfillment unto your name that as they are fulfilled in our lives and in our daytime we will remember to give you the glory the honor for it is only due you we thank you father for a time spent like this in your presence we give you the glory we give you the honor we weighed ourselves in your beautiful splendor the splendor of your holiness the splendor of your glory for we looked all over and found none capable of what you do, capable of who you are. The bright morning star, the bright morning star, the joy of heaven, the joy of our lives, the lover of our souls. We are mindful tonight to say thank you, to say thank you, to say thank you. In Jesus' mighty name have we prayed with thanksgiving and the church shall clap unto the Lord and shout a loud amen. Amen. We are shouting a loud amen, amen. unto God. Let your amen be as a sign of your faith amen. that whatever you have prayed for to God, he has done it in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. I want to thank God for being in our midst and we pray that as we go home, he will not even depart from us, but he will be with us until the very end of time, as his word has promised us. We'd like to invite the United Praise to give us a song as we take our offering. And then we'll ask Reverend Obobi to pray over our offering and give us our benediction. Amen. Ye beji udina ye Wonju ma pa nunti Ye beji wa ye O ya mi tunfo Ye beji udina ye Wonju ma pa nunti Ye beji o mo inkwemo Yeah, 
Hallelujah. Shall we please be seated for a moment? It's always good to come to the house of the Lord. We are very grateful to God even for this opportunity. And we are grateful to our brother William Amwati for leading us even through this session. Grateful to all of you who were able to make it to this place. I think the, the, the weather was not really good. But you still ensured you were here. And that is why we had this session. Thank you, each and every one of you who could make it to this gathering. And we are grateful also to God for those who joined us online. There is something that our brother started with. And I would want to re-emphasize even as we are prepared to leave this place. That is from Second. Chronicles chapter 7. He had wanted us to uh, draw attention to verse, verses 14 to 16. And I want to encourage you when you go home to read it. But I, I want to draw your attention to the way the scripture studies. It says, if my people, if, if. So the healing comes if, if, if my people. So if my people do not do these things, then you don't expect the healing to come. He says, if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves, if they shall do that, if they shall, if they will, if my people. Are there things that we think about as far as our families are concerned, as far as the church is concerned, as far as our work is concerned, as far as our nation is concerned, are there things that we think about that we think are not going right? As far as our family is concerned, as far as our children, as far as our parents are concerned, as far as our husbands, as far as our wives, as far as our marriages, as far as business, whatever it is, the Bible says that. If, if my people, if my people, if my people, let us have this at the back of our minds, even as we rise up to do our closing hymn, which is a hymn number 359. 359. to say a word of prayer even as we bring this service to a close remember those words if if my people if and remember where you may be falling short if only if you would do just this one thing that is written in the scripture God will heal our land. 
God will heal our land, heal our church, heal our families. God will do this if only we'll keep our part of the bargain. And go and read that place and you realize that he says he's chosen this place. He's chosen me. He's chosen because we are the temple now. He's chosen the temple for this purpose. So if we, if only we will do this. Lord, cause these words even to remain with us. Impress them on our hearts. So that we we'll realize that you have called us for this purpose. Throughout this period of length, we've been thinking about this. What we've been called to be. We've been called to be a house of prayer. May we realize this. And meet this condition. So that our land will be healed. So that marriages will be healed. So that the church will be healed. So that relationships will be healed. Because you are the Lord who heals us. We bring before you our substance. It's our prayer that Lord you set it apart even for your noble use. As we leave this place till we commit ourselves into your hands. May your presence go with us. May you watch over us. Bless the work of our hands. So that the work of our hands will prosper. We are grateful to you Father. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Shall we share the grace together? The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be verse 9 forevermore. Amen. And surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. God richly bless you. God bless you.